Wow. <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous. That's an eraser, right? Okay. I don't know what to say. You should have told me. I would have prepared. Okay, now this isn't too tough a task. Can you color in a birthday cake in the style of a Klondike character? Mm-hmm. Here's the cake. Now please pick a card. Oh, okay. I hope you're not expected to draw faces here. Okay, if it's Kate, I think... She needs to be in the drawing. It's kind of a crazy anime already. Yeah, it's really good that at least one artist is coming, Angela. I have this feeling it's something forgotten, back from my childhood. My parents got me coloring books so they could get rid of me for a little while. So I would be quiet and not bother anyone. I was probably too quiet as a child because I'd just sit there quietly, just doing whatever, whatever I was allowed to be doing. Oh, since it's Kate, obviously Kate was supposed to be uh, in the drawing not just some colors or attributes that represent her. So Kate, for Klondike's birthday, that is for her own birthday, just had to blow out the candles on the cake. As a person, Kate is very strong and confident and cheerful. That's why the colors are kind of from her childhood, so that she can go one day without being serious and confident and just enjoy the celebration around her. Wow. <laughs> That's a really beautiful cake. Yay, I love Amber. There's a time limit, right? I don't know. I like Amber because she's a musician. And I used to go to the music school. So I used to draw a lot of musical notes. I'm going to draw notes here too. Because our Amber is... Very musical. I also love her suit, and I like the combination of purple and blue. You know, her classic outfit. She wears different colors and different clothes, but I really like it. And I really like the latest event with her, where she plays the saxophone. It's also very beautiful. I'm going to try to draw a saxophone, if I can remember what it looks like. Let's add even more flowers. Why did I choose this color scheme? Because purple and blue come to mind when thinking of amber. And I think those colors look good on her. Plus, they remind me of spring. It's spring now, and I wanted something spring-like. And pink goes well with purple and blue. And green, too. The leaves stand for spring and freshness. She's a musician, so there are some musical notes. Amber plays the saxophone, so I've added a saxophone here too. And to make it pretty, I added some leaves around it, cherry blossoms, and covered the number six in gold so that it's festive. Who doesn't like gold and glitter? Okay. Silent shadow. How do I show this? Well, theoretically, the number six could be golden. Okay, let's see. Is this even going to be visible, the color I'm using? Orange and red, by the way, also suit Silent Shadow. Oh, nice, that's better. A little outside the line, give me a new printout. I went a little outside the line here. This color is really cool, like actual chocolate. Don't show this drawing to anyone, please. Okay, that's it. Which camera? This one? I can show it like this. 
Why did I choose these shades? Because I associate Silent Shadow with warm tones and with snow. The frosting is a reference to snow. The hearts symbolize my love for this character. And the number six means six years, Klondike's birthday. Yeah, I like Silent Shadow a lot. She's like, she looks a little bit like my mom. And my mom likes to make cakes too, with hearts just like this. That's basically what came to mind. Hi, can I? Okay, so Chaney. Chaney. He wears a green checked waistcoat, a red coat, and has a cane. So let's do the cane. The cane? Mm hmm. That doesn't look like a cane. <laughs> It's fine. Oh, rhinestones, right. Of course. Ta-da. I remembered the clothing colors of Sir Cheney. Um, Sir Cheney. For starters, the word Cheney kind of reminds me of cheddar. That's why the number six looks like cheese. Next, I added the red color to the cake, like the coat, and the cake base is just like the waistcoat. Cheney is the town mayor, so he must have quite a lot of savings. Coins, emeralds, rhinestones, diamonds, and jewels. Plus, I remembered that he has a cane. I drew a cane, but then I realized his cane isn't like that at all. It looks too much like Alex's cane from A Clockwork Orange. And then I thought, why not? And then there's fireworks too, because we're all celebrating Klondike's birthday. Ta-da! Behind such a serious man, there must be some good woman. Uh, the one who inspires him to do great things. So I'd really like to know who she is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I hope I don't get Chaney. Oh, Flint! All right, all right. Let's do this. It shouldn't be too difficult. I used to have these as a kid, and once I painted all the mirrors at home, Mom totally loved it. Well, I hope so. Oh, come on. I spent five minutes just coloring the number six. I'm a level game designer. I'm not a logical person. My job is to make it pretty. Right, these are starfish. I love glitter. I put rhinestones on my face for every corporate party. I have a whole bunch of them, and I haven't even seen Euphoria yet. What happens when I watch it? Well, Eliza, a 25-year-old. Everyone is smiling and celebrating. So I drew something like the sea, the sun, the shore, and the beach. Just no palm trees? Well, since it's Flint, I chose the sea theme. He basically always wears blue clothes. He's like a sea wolf or something. I also drew some waves and fish. Um, some starfish too. A cute octopus here. Or something very similar. And just lots and lots of glitter. Because glitter is so pretty. I actually like Captain Flint. He's a quite funny fellow. He's very brave. At one of the locations. Halloween themed traders stories. We made everyone wear costumes, and we came up with a location about Flint ending up on um, an abandoned ship where all kinds of crazy things happen. We thought for a long time of ideas for his costume. We didn't want him to be a pirate or wear a diving suit or something, so we made like an animal onesie for him of a shark. <laughs> Any message for Klondikers? If today is the day, Klondike's birthday, and Kate's birthday, it's your celebration as well. We hope you have fun and relax too. On a birthday, it's important to be with the people that you love or who share your interests. And I think that our game is great at bringing together such a large, very warm community. Thank you for playing the game and for supporting us. We're celebrating our sixth birthday. Let's also celebrate our 18th together. 
our dear Klondikers, on this wonderful occasion of the sixth anniversary of our game, I wish you lots of energy. I want to thank you, dear players, for always complimenting our graphics, our characters. It's always very motivating. And it inspires us to keep trying our best to create beautiful, interesting art. And I think it will only keep getting better. I'd like to thank you for being with us for so long, for playing, for supporting us. Maybe you don't like everything sometimes, but you still support us. Thank you so much. And I hope we'll keep bringing you joy for another six years. And you'll keep enjoying adventures with our characters. Thank you all for watching me draw. Yay!